Many people speak of the third eye. Yet, that which is currently described, those resulting conditions, state of mind, speech, actions, that are a result of and thus in direct correlation to one scene with the third eye. Like in most cases, there is varying interpretations. In most cases, as in those things that we speak of, that we speak of with our limited awareness. As you see, when I speak of it, it's it's really no different than what someone has said can be achieved by something else, by another method. The words that I use are words I use elsewhere. Sometimes there's some creative word, I suppose, if some has been have been created. I mean have been created specifically as applies to the third eye. What is that vocabulary? The original vocabulary to express exactly is it, it must be something new, if you will, if it is a true path, it is different than the other, so it has to be something new in a way that, again, it has to have its own language, and then it will interpret it for you with that language, either, but it speaks something specifically, so what is that? What is that one that very clear path? This is what one sees when they see with their third eye. This. Put it on one word. We shall have a test of all words. I will ask you to describe all words with one word. When you break it down, it is upon the base of truth that defines all words. It's the easiest word to travel, the word of God. What is paper and pen? Before that, there was a word. There's a intermediary between the paper and pen. Is a spirit. It's the word. And God brings forth the word. It is of him. His only begotten son. There is nothing. It is the father. 
Here's his first. Movement into being, because God is beyond being. It was that first. Truth. With third eye, one sees truth. One speaks truth. One knows truth. One is truth. 